During the lockdown, I reflected on the story of Barnabas, or Barnabas, as they say here in Cyprus. Barnabas was a Cypriot whose original name was Joseph. He was given the name Barnabas by his friends because it means the son of encouragement. Such was the consolation and comfort he brought to the apostles and his friends. How much we need these sorts of friends, the ones who bring us encouragement, who draw alongside us when we feel we are at the end of our rope, who through a sensitive word or kind gesture help us on our way. Those friends who have known us over many years and who have remained faithful and true to us, even knowing our weaknesses and faults. In a world that seems to be driven by division, creating conflict, injustice and poverty, uniting and working together as our Lord encourages us has become more important than ever before. This much needed unity comes in many forms. The simplest, but perhaps the most significant of those is friendship, trust, compassion and mutual support through friendships is something that I have taken new appreciation for in this time of the coronavirus pandemic. On this special day of international friendship, I send my thanks and rejoice in our unity as the body of Christ. To be a faithful friend is not an easy path but as Christian brothers and sisters, we are reminded of the reward of our unity. As Paul writes in 2 Corinthians, Finally, brothers, rejoice. Aim for restoration, comfort one another, agree with one another, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you all. Amen.